Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. I hope I had a big smile when I started that. I went to edit my Aquarius video, I thought, oh my God, my face at the beginning, my nose was kind of itchy. <laughs> so anyways, here I am. Piscus Spices, pretty, pretty Pisces. I am here to do a general reading for you. It's general, so it may or may not resonate. If it does, and you're drawn to the link is at the top of the description within this video. I cannot believe how many times this is happening. Wow. Like, talk about surrounded by your spiritual guides. This is the third video in a row. Is this it came out with Capricorn? No. No, 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 no. With Sagittarius. Came out with Sagittarius at first. Did it come out with Capricorn? I can't remember. And then came out with Aquarius. And now here you're getting the bat on a split. Like, I, how do I do that? I'm not making that up. I just did that. And the bat is your ancestral guides being present here in a reading, guiding you, supporting you at this time, not even just in the reading. Do I have a tummy ache today? I don't know why I have a tummy ache. It's weird. Anyways, there you go. So we're going to start with the Wild Unknowing Animal Oracle deck and the Fire Ant. Oh, giving me indigestion. I don't know why I have a tummy ache. We're going to start with a well known animal oracle and tarot deck. I'm going to look at your current and future energies. Pisces, Pisces. Sorry, I'm thinking about why, why I have a tummy ache. <laughs> that. Anyway, so Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Apparently, it needed a lot of shuffling. <clears throat> Currently, Pisces, the starfish. You are shining so bright right now. You're doing good things. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're on your way to achieving some dream here or your dreams. It's really beautiful. And in the future. Oh, wow. Oh, this is exciting energy. The sea serpent. And it's all very watery based, even though this one is coming in spiritual. So it's your watery spiritual self side. And there's more water at the bottom. Oh, the dragon's reversed here. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. You have the whale at the bottom, and then everything's reversed. And when I say everything, the first thing coming out reversed is the dragon, like the eye of God. But it doesn't feel negative. I think you're taking control of a situation. I think you've seen something the way you need to see it. The way, when I say the way you need to see it, it's like your, your deeper self seeing something on a level that maybe in the past, either your ego or just your mind itself was kind of getting in the way of this understanding. But here you're seeing it. There's so much water, like just in your element, swimming in it beautifully. Coming up out of the depths. Coming up out of the depths here. After perhaps being in a darker space. But maybe that's what it is. Like this feels like too, like not necessarily needing some sort of guidance outside of you. I feel... With the dragon in reverse here, and what I'm picking up on is that you are not so much asking the universe anymore or looking for certain signs and synchronicities from the universe. You've kind of like lowered that or you are lowering that um, that guidance system within yourself. But I do feel like, too, with the fact that the bat came out on the split, you still have ancestral guides here. So you have ancestors playing out, guiding you. But I, I feel like almost like stepping back a little bit. Like you're you're moving in a very free-flowing way here. And starfish is hopes and dreams. It's um, also presenting yourself in a way on the outside that's very different from the inside. You may not be conveying all these hopes and dreams to others just yet. They're still kind of wrapped up inside as a dream. As a, I don't want to say a fantasy. I feel like you're on your way to make these um, 
a reality. With the sea serpent, you're about to create something that's never been created before, but you're going to utilize an energy um, that's not just yours. Yours and someone else's energy here. And even though it's spirit, like it has this, the symbol of um, spirit, the ethereal up here on this card, is still sea serpent. So you're still... Like, that's what I mean. Like, nobody needs to be holding your hand spiritually right now. Nobody needs to be guiding you spiritually. Your guidance system is on point. One more. Oh, so. <laughs> Going off into my own little world again. I am going to pull out tarot cards for each one of these. I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out why I have a tummy ache. I haven't eaten anything unusual. Three cards for the present and the future for Pisces. I think this is a lot about me too that I say tummy ache instead of stomach ache. Stomach is very tummy. Okay. One. Toot. And twelve. You have the King of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Ah! You figured something out. And I like what it is. Give me a second. The Ten of Pentacles, Judgment. And the two of pentacles. Oh, yeah. Wow. You doubled up on something, I'm hearing. You've doubled up on something. Oh, and then you have two. Because you have 10 and you have 20. You have X and XX. So 10 and 10 again. Which is judgment. Like a rebirth. A second chance. And then you have two pentacles. You've doubled up on something. Something is doubling up here. Double or nothing. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's just like channeling. Double or nothing here. You're taking another chance. You're taking a chance here. Taking a chance on yourself. But there's always something to consider. <laughs> there's always something to consider. Temperance is at the bottom. Temperance, alchemizing. Are you? I mean, you're getting a feeling of alchemization. Maybe that comes in over here. Father of Swords, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles has been coming around a lot too with the bat. It almost feels like ancestor spiritual energy helping people get over obstacles, major obstacles here that perhaps. I think some people have been facing for a time and that's what I'm seeing here. You have got a solution. You have, it's at least a solution for now. I want to say that it's a solution for now. You've got some sort of insight and some sort of clarity and I'm picking up the rainbow. This sword is just, it's full of the rainbow. So, and we talked about the starfish being hopes and dreams, fulfillments here. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is echoing the sense of the rainbow. The Ten of Cups to me is the, the full-on rainbow card here. This is a, because emotional fulfillment is so much more than everything else fulfillment. It's just, well, I think too for Pisces, because you are an emotional entity here. You really are an emotional entity. Sort of like on the psychic realm, but through like emotions and flows and feelings and... I was thinking of my Pisces friend. Her dad is always telling her that she feels too much. Well, I don't know, always. <laughs> I know she told me he said that a couple of times. And he's a Cancer. And Cancers will hide their feelings, right? But Pisces needs to flow. You need to flow in them. But I don't think you used your feelings to come up with the answer to your solution. I think you've used your wise mind. I'm hearing with the Father of Swords. You've used your wise mind. But the answer that you've received is your emotions. <laughs> That's the funny thing with the Nine of Cups. The answer here is your emotions. 
Your emotional contentment, your emotional peace, your emotional sovereignty is the answer for any mountain that you need to get over. Anytime you need to share yourself, you need to work together with people, you need to work in a group, you need to collaborate, um, you need to work as a team. It's your emotional happiness is your guide, is your guidance system. And that's what's working here. That's what's coming in. That's what's the engine is starting to spin on this. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, you had last week you had a tough reading. So maybe you've had some sort of clarity. Or I don't know if it's been a week. Well, the last time I did your reading, it was tough. It was maybe trying to see things that you didn't want to see before. Whatever it was, you've got you've got a very strong clarity, and that has an awful lot to do with your emotional guidance system. Okay, so over here, what are you making? You're making something big. You're rising up above. Did I show you the cards? The Ten of Pentacles, because there's something to be seen in these, particularly the Judgment card, which is what I'm kind of channeling in now. Excuse me. I just have gas. My tummy. Um, this is like kind of rising above. You are rising above your ancestors. These are not other doves. These are bats. They sure look like bats. They have more pointy angular parts to their wings. And the, and the dragon was in reverse. You're you're rising above oh you're even rising above what your ancestors have accomplished in the past or oh, you're about to because this is the future you're about to rise above something that your ancestors were not able to accomplish and that could just be some sort of spiritual growth that you've done for yourself but it feels no not so much because you have two pentacles on either side and they're big you got the Ten of Pentacles here. So and rising above and having a second chance at this, this is doubling up. Double or nothing here. So is this a second chance at something that's Ten of Pentacles? Something, second chance at something that you would have built up in your life and maybe didn't get to where you wanted it to be? It's definitely soaring above the crowd. Okay, all these... Phrases and messages for you in the future. Soaring above the crowd here. But there's something to be considered. I just, because this is like a rebirth. The rebirth is there. There it is. It's sitting right there. And sometimes I feel like there, with this two pentacles, it can indicate that there's a big block. That you're not able to move forward in your fresh new beginning. But because the judgment's sitting beside it, I feel like you are. You have been. You will be. This bird is soaring high above, high above these bat images at the bottom. You're soaring high above what those of those that have taken your path in the past have been able to accomplish. You're about to accomplish so much more. Because this is the future. So it's almost like the future of the future. So I'm having difficulty articulating it. I'm trying not to say now. Because it's supposed to be in the future, unless you're already feeling it. But you are. You're having a second go at this, and it's soaring. It's going up. The vibrational frequency of you in this experience is going up. And then it's there's even more, though, to create in this, in the three dimension. And that's what I feel like. You know, too, like maybe, Pisces, like maybe you've also got a lot of other family members or ancestors from the past that have been Pisces. or that, Because Pisces is very dreamy. If everything that Pisces could dream up could come into the reality of the world, we would live probably in like a Narnia magical utopian existence. Like it would be amazing because you have such a capacity to imagine and to fantasize and almost make it a complete reality in your own mindset. But to make it a reality in the physicality set is a different thing here. But that's what you're going to do. But there's something practical that needs to be considered here with it because it sits in front of this butterfly lifting up 
And maybe that's how this is really getting you to soar because it's looking at something on a very practical level that has something to do with what you've imagined. Look at this split. There's that two pentacles and there's the lovers. It's something um, that you imagined, fantasized, and maybe even manifested. But how do we hold on to a manifestation? See, that's the trick. You can manifest something, but if you don't continue to invest in it or support it or do something with it, it will go away. Like you can be fortunate enough, something just falls into your lap. But if, you know, if if, if it's an amazing thing that fell into your lap, but, you know, just, wow, that was cool. How did that happen? I love that. <laughs> but you're not really investing in it or looking at it or strategizing about it or understanding it and then adjusting how you need to look after this manifestation that fell into your lap. I'm not saying anything fell into your lap. I don't want to say that you haven't had some sort of a, a difficult journey and you've had to take some knocks along the way and, and earn um, all of your badges to get to where you're going. But it's just the, the explanation of like how you can manifest Pisces because you can bring something into your world and you can say, like, that seems too good to be true. <laughs> how did I? But you did it. You manifested it because you're your your spiritual realm is almost so much more real to you than the physical realm but we're all here in a physical sense so we are meant to bring physicality we are meant to bring spirit into the physical that's what you're doing here and you're being practical so here's where i see that continued investment with the two of pentacles of getting this to another level and allowing it to soar in its due time and when practical things have been considered. The Father of Swords. Oh, you know, you know, the Son and the Six of Swords. You know, you've identified what it is that you're hoping your dream is. You've seen it, you found it, you believe in it, and you're going there. You're going there. The Six of Swords, you're going there. If there was one final push from spirit, from your guides, it's the, the, the little boat, gondola, whatever it is, off of the shoreline. Off you go. Here I go. I'm going. Thanks, guys. Bye. The Nine of Cups. The King of Cups. The King of Pentacles. Look, look. You are doing, you are doing your fantastical thing and you are making a realistic thing with it. Fantastical and realistical. Pisces. I want to write that down. I like that. The fantastical and realistic Pisces. Pisces. Fantastical and realistical. I'll forget. I'll forget. I'll just. It's a channeled message, and it'll be gone. It'll be gone as soon as I put this down. And I put the cards. So yeah, that's so cool. Coming from a real, this is experience. What did I say? I don't want to say that things are just dropping in your lap and your life is just really, really lucky. There's experience that comes in with this. And the King of Pentacles, for sure. I just feel like the King of Pentacles is someone who had to, who had to work to where they got. You had to invest in yourself. You had to invest in others. You had to watch opportunities go by. You had to grab onto opportunities as they presented themselves. This is very mature energy. The Three of Pentacles. Man, well, there's temperance. Temperance and the star. You've been holding off for the right thing and you did the right thing. Temperance and the star. I feel like you've been holding off. I don't mean like right now. I don't feel like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit. But if you are, it's only because of practical things that you're anticipating in the future. You may not have ever seen anything that was like, this is for me. This is it. Or maybe you did in the past and it wasn't. And then it kind of, <laughs> moving forward, no, 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 no. You know, like maybe sort of having like checking boxes off. No, 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 no. So I want to say that like putting off, putting off until you really see what it is that you've always hoped and dreamed for and wished for and wanted. The mountain for you feels like 
things that have not been what you wanted and dreamed and hoped for and having to keep working towards what it is that you hoped and wanted and dreamed for. So no, I don't no. I'm not. I'm not pointing out the starfish and the serpent clarifiers because it doesn't feel right. That's my own internal guidance system. Like my mind wants to ask questions about it for you, but I'm feeling like I shouldn't do it. And I don't know, it has something to do with you. It has something to do with you for some reason. So let's just keep going on these. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Judgment again. Look at Doubling up, baby. Yeah, you got 20 on either side of 10. That makes 30. 32. <laughs> I, feel like a, I feel like a card dealer. It's really weird the way this is coming out. Or t No, 20 and 20 is 40. And that's 50. 52. 20, 40, 52. I don't know why. I guess maybe that means something to somebody. So yeah, it's judgment. The ten, okay, well, judgment. If the Ten of Pentacles come out, I'm done with this reading. Okay, no, the Chariot and the Eight, the Page of Pentacles. See, you're starting. You're. St I told you there is a rebirth in something that you would, would have already created in life, but didn't work out. Something didn't work out about it. Maybe your first start at it didn't work out. This does not have to be the exact same thing in the exact same place, in the exact same people, in the exact same circumstance. It could be, or it could be something from the past that did not work out and that part of your life is over. And then this is a new part for you to explore in your life. And you're moving in the right way, the page of pentacles. Like you're taking a very practical and step-by-step -step approach. But you are moving it with the water element here. So it's funny because they're talking about my Piscean friend and her dad being a Cancerian. And he's a very sweet man. Actually, a very wise man. He's a really nice guy. Um, and this is almost too, like, so I get this fatherly energy. So being guided, like if you're taking advice, you're only taking advice from anyone you really, really trust and you know who really, really cares about you. And with the Page of Pentacles, there you go. It's practical. I mean, practical here. The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Wow, the Emperor. Oh, so it feels, well, there's some practical things that have to be considered. So it's kind of like your responsibilities. You've got some practical responsibilities. They're big responsibilities. Your leadership, how you show up as a leader in your life, how you show up as a leader in other people's lives. Ooh, the Six of Pentacles. You have to be able to give and take evenly here. I feel like you're coming from a real big position of giving, though. You've got big cards. You have really big cards. Like, you're really stepping in. You're really stepping into some big shoes that are meant for you, though. That's what that feels like. You're stepping into some big shoes that are meant for you. And that's, that's what I have. It's like silent now. It's quiet. The same way like that I just felt. I'm not supposed to pick it. There's almost two. Because what if this starfish is? I feel like you already know. So I don't have to ask. I don't need to be curious for you. I can be nosy. I am nosy. I'm trying to back off on that a little bit. Um, the sea serpent. Because I think you're meant to explore this on your own. And I think your intuition is already like bang on point. I'm going to be honest. I feel like a lot of this reading has been um, almost just confirming for you. Yeah, that's what I got. So there you go. I'm going to go to the extended Pisces. I'm going to look for further guidance if I can get it. Yeah, you're the guy. Okay, yeah. Further guidance and oh, you know, I'm just going to leave it open. You know, I'm just going to leave it open and see what comes out. A lot of times it comes out as guidance and a whole bunch of other really deep messages as well. I'm going to go take a Tums before <laughs> I do that. Until next time, Pisces, to be gentle with yourselves. Bye.